Hello everyone, I'm Kira and today I'm with Daddy Tom and we're going to do the second part of Folioscope. Fantastic. So in our last Folioscope video we got a comment from Abba Emperor Abba and it says I have a tip for this app. Mm. If you see if you use a colour and then touch the square tool, select small dithering and mix it with another colour, it will create more colours. Excellent. Well, in fact, do you remember when you were doing it, we did comment on how that there was only six colours to choose from? Yes. Yeah, so can you go, go and have a look? Yes. There, there are only six colours, aren't there? I yes. mean, you could do your animations fine, but it would be nice to have more colours. And yes. now that looks like this tip can actually help us to create even more. So what does it say? It says a red and yellow with, with small dithering equal to orange. Yes. Yeah, orange. and you, you were trying that earlier, weren't you? Yes. Okay, so can you show to... me how it works? So this is red, normal yeah. red. Mm -hmm. And this is yellow. That's right. But if we use yellow or any colour, if you use red with small dithering or yellow with small dithering, it doesn't make a difference. It, it works the same, yeah. We're going to use yellow with small uh -huh. dithering and put it over the red, it makes an orangey colour. Brilliant, excellent. And, and orange obviously is a new colour that we didn't have the palette. Yes, there's yeah. no orange there. I like it. Yeah, great tip from uh, Abba Emperor Abba. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, have you drawn anything with that since? Yes, I have. In fact, you've uh, tried mixing different colours, haven't you? Yes. Okay, lots. Let's sh show me how what you've mixed. Okay. So here we have yellow and green mixed together and it makes a nice lime colour. Oh, that's good. That means you can, uh, perhaps when you draw trees and grass and stuff, you can have some different shades of green. Make yes. gives it a bit more texture. Yeah. If we mix black and white together, it makes a grey colour, which you can use for smoke or clouds. Hmm. So here we have red and green mixed together, and it makes brown, which I used f for the burger. And you can also use it to make trees or like mud it's and things like that. It's definitely a very useful colour to have, isn't it? Yes. If we mix blue and green together, it'll make a nice cyan colour, which I guess you could use for like water and add different colours for detail. Hmm. When you mix blue and black together, it makes a nice uh, dark blue colour, which you could use for a night sky if you don't want it to be like really dark, like mid midnight or really light. I like that shade of blue. So here we have red and blue mixed together and it makes a purpley colour which we used for our rainbow before, mm -hmm. like we showed you. Yeah. And you can also use it for like colourful balloons or confetti and things like that. Yeah, definitely a good addition to um, the original colours. So I've made some new animations with the new colours yeah. and this one is a cheeseburger. Fantastic. So you can see it's a cheeseburger being made. Uh huh. What's in there? So there's, there's a the bottom burger. Yes. And then there's, you've got some tomatoes. Yes. L lettuce, lettuce. The burger. The beef burger. The cheese and then more lettuce, tomato. So what new colours have you used in this one? So in the bun I've used red and yellow to make orange. Uh huh. And uh, for the burger, like the beef pot, mm -hmm. I've used red and green, which makes brown. Excellent. Which you wouldn't be able to do with uh, the, the the six color provider. Yes. You? What would you have done if you, like, you were to use those? The best thing would be a yellow bun <laughs> and a black burger. <laughs> which wouldn't be very good. No. I'm not going to have a burnt burger. <laughs> yes. I like it. Yeah, what else have you made? Um, I have made a rainbow. All right, okay. So what what did it look like, the rainbow without the um, the new colours? Well, uh, we did make this one in the first folio scope the first part mm -hmm. and since then I've added the sky because we didn't in the video. Can I see the animation? Yes. So just the four colours? Yes, it was only red, yellow, green and blue. It's not very good is it? No. But at the time we didn't know that they were the colours that we, we had. Yes. So now you've added... Orange, dark blue and purple. Seven colours in the rainbow. Yes, seven Wonderful. colours instead of four. And it's like this. Looks a lot better doesn't it? Yes. Excellent, well done, nice. really like it. Yeah, I think it looks a lot nicer. So, I also made this new one, and it's a loading screen, Uh huh. and it looks like this. What's so special about that? 
But if you send it to your friends, like I have, uh -huh. then they'll click on the little video, like in the messages section, uh -huh. and they'll be and they'll be waiting for the video to go to load. And that was never, a practical joke. Yeah, it'll never <laughs> load because that's the whole thing. <laughs> Great. Yes. It looks so nice. Yeah. Okay, I wonder if uh, any of you have tried uh, mixing the new colors. Maybe you knew that already, or maybe you didn't. If you haven't tried that, give it a go. Yeah. Yeah. I think it looks like you have. You've had a lot of fun with it, haven't you? Yes, it looks better. Great. Okay, let's leave leave it for now, shall we? Yes. All right. Uh, if you like the video, please like and subscribe, and uh, we'll see you next time. Goodbye. Bye.